Logging in, recording for. So I'm at the signal scanner that has picked up four different location beacons. I already did the tree first, but I'm now about to do the fourth one. So I have done the monolith, the colonial outpost, the message. So it's just the shelter I don't have, so I'm choosing it now. So as you can see, it now gives me a GPS location of that location beacon. As I take a quick look around, you will see that there are different ones. I have the outpost and I have some sort of plaques where I can go to. That's the purple ones. So I have now uh, some locations that I can go to. Hopefully they can help me further. So I came across this thing, it's a knowledge stone and it seemed to have learned me a new word and it learned me the word for gag. So I assume that is an alien species that's familiar around here. I still have to find them until now but I guess sooner or later I will stumble upon them. So I will be looking for them and I'll be on my way. So I just found this little friend who is not so little but he looks very familiar. I found another like one but he's a little different. He has uh, no horns at his at his mouth also doesn't have the sphere on his back and he does have fin like wings don't know what I have to call them they're sort of fins that's like wings built at his arm so assume it is to swimming so you see here the other one with the horns so I figured I called him Finwing Hunchback. And that means a new animal for the database and 1500 units in the pocket. So I just flew by my destination that was given by the signal scanner but I wasn't able to land right next to it. It's down in a hole so that was, was not possible. So I did a U-turn and gonna try to land close by. Okay, that's pretty close. So let's get down and take a look. So we have a little pyramid at front. It says memory of memory of Big Tolor. So I can interact with it, it's a plaque of the Gek. So as you saw before, the Gek is an alien species. I came across this knowledge stone and it provided me with a new word of their language, the word for the species itself, which was Gek. So and here, once again, we have a monolith of the Gek. So I'm guessing that's the alien species that we got to find. So it has blue light, so I'm guessing it has some sort of energy. I get a shock when I touch the beautiful stone marker. Suddenly I, I know the deadly truth of the Gek. We are the rulers of the galaxy, the emperors of the cosmos. Each foe will submit and kneel 
for the almighty Gag Empire. Oh, heavy stuff. We are the firstborn. Look at our works and despair. So I can ask for help with the language. These gag seem no funny joke, man. So I'm hoping I'm doing the right thing with asking for their help. And when I find them, they won't force me to my knees. So my knowledge of, about the gag is increased. I, I learned the gag word for first and my reputation also is increased with the kick. So my vast system tells me that I have learned five gag words by now. Okay, let's get back to the ship. So I found another of those plaques, some sort of monolith that's left by the Gek. This is a much bigger structure than the, the last one. So I'm guessing it will learn me a few other words, at least one, but I saw a knowledge stone and there another one. So, uh, We'll at least learn a few. So that's the first one, knowledge stone. I learned the word for born. Okay, we have the stairs in the middle. Here is the next one. So the two corners have a knowledge stone. Let's interact and I learned the word for destroyed. Okay, we have another one there. This corner is missing, so I think there's just three of them. There's all these markers on the floors. And I learned the word for friend. So my vast system is telling me something. I learned eight words. Okay. Okay, I don't think there is a fort down here. That's the monolith. There's no blue light that I can see for the moment. So don't know if there's any energy inside. Can't interact it from here. But I did see the stairs over there, so let's have a quick look on no can't see a fort. I had these ones, okay. It's all different colors. Okay, we, uh, we have the energy at the top of the stairs. Ruins of Nimu Plovot Uri. I get a strange vision. A winged creature lands on top of the monolith. Suddenly I see lights in his eyes. He turns his head all the way around and screams in an old ancient language that he wants to die. The poor creature has a broken neck but the monolith still has its in his power him in its power. I ask myself if it's not better to relieve him from his misery. 
so I can leave it alone or I can shoot the creature so at the left monolith 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 of the gek gek first born and destroyed so I assume it should be best to shoot a creature I don't know what happened if I just leave it be probably nothing I guess when I shoot a creature that once again I will have improved uh, reputation with the gag as well as I will learn a word or something just guessing here but if it's a little the same as before that's what will happen so I can't see nothing on the monolith okay so this one is leave it alone and the bottom one is shoot it dead okay let's choose this one The poor cre uh, winged creature is dead. The monolith uh, gives me a reward for my action. So now the energy is in the monolith. My reputation has improved. My health has improved. And I learned the atlas word for, for awakening. So that's good, it's not a gag word, this time I learned an atlas word. So I'm guessing that's important, because I don't know much of those atlas words, I don't even know what's the use of it. I came up on this location and there is a crashed ship. I looked everywhere around, there is no life form. So I'm guessing the only thing that was alive is inside of the ship. I'm having a quick look around. So here's the cockpit. It's a Yashiris S99. So I interact. So now we have my ship and the new ship at the bottom. So I can already see that it has more space. So I have to put my inventory to the new ship. If not I will lose it. That's what it says underneath except that is there in green at the bottom left of the red one which says leave okay that's all let's accept okay been looking around to my other ship but couldn't find it so I have this thing I get in the cargo ship and find the black box as soon as I touch it there appears a holographic image of the the trader the reptilian trader in panic it's probably a message for his family or his superior the last moment the trader points at an installed technology So I can look the cargo or search for the recently installed installed techno technology in the ship. So let's get the installed technology in the ship. I got the bad installed technology that made the ship crash and I have now the blueprint. So I can now make it myself. 
nice. I have a new ship and I have some new technologies. Okay, let's get inside. So I came upon this location. There's the mo a monolith, but I don't know if it's the same monolith that I've been before. I assume it's not because the knowledge stones they are, are not interacted with. Since they are not activated and the lights are not turned on. Okay, let's activate this one. So I learned the new word for less common. This place is pretty much the same for the rest. I don't see any differences, maybe except for uh, the surroundings. But it has the same middle part, the upside pyramid with the stairs in front of it, and the, the three uh, knowledge stones. So this one learned me language. There's also missing one knowledge stone behind me. This one learned me careful. My vast system tells me that I learned 15 words of the GAC language. Got still much to go. Okay, same deal here. Interact with the monolith of the GAC. I find myself in a strange different reality. An ancient construction jumps open and shows me a body imprisoned in ice. It's composed of different body parts with a sharp beak that's attached with animal intestines. Above it there's a sign that tells me that I can probably melt the ice with an flammable isotope. Okay, that's pretty much Frankenstein that I found here guys. Frankenstein, the one and only. So. I think it's better to just leave it alone. The panel closes up, the monster stays imprisoned and I'm being tanked. So they're happy that I leave the monster inside and I am too. Okay, my gag reputation is improved. I learned a new atlas word for witnesses and I got a gag relic. So I hope Frankenstein hasn't woken up and is sneaking up on me here. But this is pretty much epic. I found Frankenstein and I think I want to turn back to my ship now. Let me just quickly finish up with gathering this titanium that I got here. Because at the left there's a little pink rock. So I'm gonna analyze it. And so I can name it. That's something I do all the time. I find plenty of rocks and plants that I name. But I don't keep record of it. I just load it up and keep the information at the database. So I have it when I need it. But I, I don't always keep record of all the rocks and all the plants that I upload and give a name. So this is just for an example. We have this little pink rock here. So it's it gives me iron when I when I break it down. So I gave it a name and I load it up. I got some units for it and that's it. So I just came across this place I assume it's a Gek settlement, but I can't really know for sure. But inside here, there's a relay station, so I'm gonna interact with it. The operation terminal lets me hear a faint but unstopping peeping tone. Through all that, I can hear a disturbed, distressed call filled with screams and the loud sound of tearing metal. The only thing that I can clearly make out of it is a short number sequence. 
if I can crack the code, I know where the ship is crashed. So I have 2, 4, 12, 48, 2, 30, 40. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, times 4 is 48, times 5 is 230, 240. So times 6 should be 1440. So let's check. Yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. Yes, that should be 240 times 6 is uh, 1440. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, correct. Coordinates distress signal discovered. So I got a distress signal of the ship that is crashed. I think it's from the the guy that lived here, the, the gag person that lived in this settlement. But let's hope there's still another member of the gag race somewhere in the other buildings. So we have three buildings here. We have one big over there. Then we have the one that I just been to here. It's a middle sized one. And at the left there's another middle sized one. So we're gonna pay a visit to all of them. I just hope in one of these buildings there will be an alien presence because I don't have hyperdrive for my ship and maybe they can help me out. See a couple of boxes here. Nothing inside this one. Here the red ones with the plutonium. Okay, that's a little plutonium for the ship, always welcome. So here we have the transmitter of the data. So it gives me the name of the local place. So I will be giving it the name of my own. And the first thing I'm thinking of is a local guy. He's a stand-up comedian, funny guy. So. His name is Urbanus. I will be name, naming this place after him. So the Urbanus encampment. So naming these places gives me 1000 uh, units. It's always good. A bit of currency. Doing a quick scan now. Seems not to be much materials around. A few creatures that I have already named. I believe I already got this. Yes, I do. It's empty. Seems that this is the same building as before, the one with the relay station. But anyway, I see that the time has ended, the recording has come to its end, there's no time left, so I will be ending it here. But soon I will be logging back in and start a new recording. So I thank you all for watching. Gnosis, logging out.